Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Aries for love and relationship for the month of January 2021. And I will talk about also in general about the whole year of 21 for love general. You might be really like, you know, just uh, in a conflict or your heart aches like, you know, from the person right now, the one you know. And I get here like, you know, sometimes they feel that you, you say things that they push you away, but this person is approaching you with love again. I'm not sure yet. Hold on. It's like you want to separate from the heartache. You want to separate from everything. It looks to me that, you know, it's really a good year, like, you know, for love. And your person is really very honest with you. He or she is in love with you. He or she is really worried about you. Having anxiety toward you. Besides you, you keep thinking about your person a lot. You might be really, like, you know, trying to spy on him or her a lot. And to ask, like, you know, questions. But I get here, like, you know, for some reason that... Maybe before in the past or last year that you were suspicious about your personal loyalty. Now you know that this person is loyal to you. You're still in love with this person and you are committed to him or her and you want a relationship. I get here that this person pushed you away before because they were worried about money, finances, something like that. And I get here they wasn't ready. You had... You had a bad three years or something like, I don't know. A few years, like, you know, back, that you wasn't fortunate in love no matter what you did. This year, I'm going to say, like, you know, that this is the year of love for you. Whatever you did not have before, you're going to have it this year. It sounds like, you know, that it's really very promising or clearing up. Like, you know, even if you right now didn't start really already 100% to be, like, you know, really so much everything is perfect. I see it like, you know, more clearing. It's going to clear for you more. Your person, I get you keeping an eye on you, wants you in the relationship. But sometimes if they feel you can push his or her buttons. You need just to be pleasant and don't dwell on the past. Forget the past. Don't worry about anything. Whatever he or she did in the past, forget it. Turn your back on it. It just brings misery when you think about it. Or you dwell on it. Or you speak about it. This person say hello to you, just say hello back. It's not like, you know, where have you been, you son of a... It's not going to work like that. Oh, you did this and that. Are you going to treat me better? Are you going to do this? You don't have to say this. Just be pleasant and forget it. I know you have the right to speak about yourself and defend yourself, but you have done enough. Your person leave and come back because they want to you want you to be calming down. As soon as they lift the, the phone, say, hey, I miss you. And you are like, are you going to do better toward me? Well, um, let's see. You don't have to ask these questions. Your person get confused about you a lot, like, you know, because you become, like, you no know, really smart with your person. You become smart and you want to argue. This is the argument, confrontation, asking too many questions. It doesn't work like that. Forget about this. It's not good. Like I said here, like, you know, pay attention to love. Open your heart for love. Let go of any argument, struggle. Like, you want to win. You want to win over your person. And you are kind of like, you know, trying to show him or her that you are tough. But that, that doesn't bring love. This, whatever you used last year, forget it. It's not going to work this year. It says here, like, you know, this person is coming back. Someone that you haven't been dealing with is coming back to you, returning to you. They want to be with you.
you need your person to help you here. And I get here, your person is like saying, are you calling me to help you or you miss me and you want to be with me according to love and emotions? Sometimes you are undecided like you know, to give him or her attention and you want to pay attention to someone new, which is I see if you are single, you will meet like you know, with a, a new relationship this year also. Sometimes you say things like to your person and they are undecided if you are telling them the, the truth or you are bluffing or you could be like, you know, just uh, not honest. You could be like, you know, just lying a little bit. And I get here sometimes you, you have some white lies here and there because you want to get the help of your person to help you. But I get here it causes you struggle and chaos. And I get here in the past, I get again that you fought a lot, but because you did a lot of effort, that's why. A lot of effort with your person, that's why he or she kept coming back to you. That's why they don't want to quit. Beside the good stuff, there is bad stuff. But not all of it bad, not all of it good. But your person keep really coming for the good things that you do with him or her. Your effort is bringing this person to you. He or she know that you are a good person. And you are loyal. And you won't really like you know, to be really with him or her. But I get here that sometimes you lack understanding your person the way they, they feel. Um, but your person wasn't really easy on you. I see that. It says here that you are lucky. No matter what she did with your person, you deserve love and they are coming to you. But your person still afraid. Why? Maybe you're asking your person to move in with you or like, you know, or to, to be really around you or committed to you or getting married right now. And I get here, your person is kind of like, you know, freaking out. It's like, uh, am I going to be really happy or are you going to fight with me and throwing rocks on me? Um, you, that person is so scared of you. <laughs> but your person is going to commit. See the commitment here, opening the heart for you? They're going to commit to you. And the return of your love and the return of really the actual love that started from the beginning between you two is going to be really there. You and this person are going to be really much happier this year. That's what I'm hoping for, but this is what the reading saying anyway. And I get here like, you know, stop being mad. Stop holding back. You're holding back on intimacy. I think you want the intimacy. Who's holding back on the intimacy? I need to clarify this. Is your person holding back on intimacy? Ah, you are yelling at this person. He or she like, you know, doesn't feel like, you know, really sleeping with you. Yeah. Uh, You love your person, you want intimacy. Actually, your person like you no know, holding back on intimacy because they are afraid. But I get here that if you are not really fighting or arguing or being smart with your person or uh, asking too many questions or confrontal, I get here that your person is going to come to you and you will have really a sweet love between you two this year, especially at this time here. And I am getting here that your person is going to work on that really relationship. There is really sincerity in your person here. Look at that. Approaching you, working, doing an effort is going to be really great. I also see this person like you know, that they are going to be letting this relationship go. I don't think so. You're going to end up with this person more seriously. Let me see the outlook like you know, for love. For the whole year. For Aries. For year 2021. The outlook. The whole outlook for the whole year. For love. Ah! 
Ah, this is really very good. They call you the prince or the princess of love this year. You are enjoying the love, being spoiled and giving really a lot of love. This year is really about love. It's not like every year you suffered a lot in love before, in the past years. It could be three years ago, seven years ago. I'm not really sure. But it could. Uh, this year is going to be really very promising in love. In the springtime, you will be really finding yourself like a newborn baby. Like something like you know, a newborn, like you know, for love in general. It's beautiful. Love, even like, you know, around you, like, you know, to even family, friends, uh, anybody. But I get here, there is a true reality of love and commitments here. What is this struggle here? I don't like the struggle. I don't like the fight and argument, like, you know, in a relationship. Yeah, I get here the new love, not new, renewed, newborn for love. It could be like, you know, coming like, you know, March, April, the second week of May, like, you know, that is going to be really like you know, your heart beating fast and you are kind of like, you know, really great and you are swept away with like, you know, very cra crazy love. It's not necessary a new love. Some of you is going to have a new love at that time, but I get here renewed loves also. Renewed people from the past coming to you, people like you know that you had a relationship with, it didn't work, it's gonna work out really better or much better. You are more it could be like you know at the like you know, in summertime you can be like you know upset a little bit like you know, with love here, up and down about it, not sure what to do, a conflict, suspicious, not really sure, then it will be straightened out again. It's not really threatening though. It's not really a big deal. But even if you are upset like, you know, during like you know, a few months with your lover or partner, a little bit yelling here, yelling there, but it looks to me that it's gonna be straightened out in December or the end of the year. And you will be smiling again and happy because it's the same person like you know, trying to be really more forthcoming. If you have been suffering with your health also last year, I get here this year, you're going to be really good and healthy. So there will be like nothing wrong with you at all. Thank God. You might have some problems or arguments at the end of the year like you know, with your with family here. But it's not going to be like you know, really a big deal also. I see forgiveness at the end, opening hearts. It's just like, you know, bad melting each other, like, you know, speaking here and there, like, you know, it's not going to be really... Be patient. It's really best like, you know, to be patient. Be patient and be open and receptive. Let love, like, you know, look for you. You don't have to overlook it. And you will succeed that way. Let your person really spoil you. He or she is going to this year. It's going to happen. So what I said here, like, you know, during summer or at the, uh, closer to fall, you might be, like, you know, off edge with your person, but it's going to be straightened out and you are really going to be happy. Many loves coming, even for single people. I get here, you will meet your loves, like, you know, in, in, in a few months, like, you know, in spring. And uh, you will have really, like, you know, sincere commitment at the end of the year with that person also. Well, dear Aries, I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on my website, mysticalaziza.com. The link for my website is below this video. You click on reading prices, look at it, read it, see my business hours also, and the phone number on the website, that's the one I use. If you are overseas or long distance, use the same number on the website on WhatsApp. And thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.